Hello again, Precision Time users. Today's video is going to cover two topics that fall under the general heading of advanced settings. The first section is going to cover how to check and perhaps adjust your clock configuration, uh, depending on which scoreboard you're using. And then the second half of this video is going to cover how to connect your base station to the internet via the uh, Wi-Fi portal. Uh, more and more conferences are asking that we try to make this uh, internet connection uh, because then the, your game files will get uploaded directly to our server. In this first section, we're going to discuss how to go into the settings and determine or change the clock configuration uh, on your base station. So as you can see here, when you go into the settings and select clock configuration, and the password for all of these settings is all stars, as shown. If you're not seeing clock data on your initial uh, setup with your scoreboard, uh, checking this clock configuration is one of the first things to check. So you can see here that in this case we have it set to Dactronics. So if you find that you need to make a change to the uh, scoreboard type, simply go ahead and tap on the icon and you'll see that a menu comes up with a number of different score, scoreboards and settings. And so, for example, if we were uh, needed to switch this to OES, we would tap on that and then hit Save Changes. Now, you may encounter a situation where you may find that the base station is actually toggling the clock backwards. In this case, we're simulating uh, using a Dactronics relay box uh, to mitigate a floating ground situation. And you can see here that even though the base station is in run mode, the clock is stopped. And then if we switch the base station to stop, you'll notice when we go back to the uh, scoreboard controller, the clock starts to run. This is actually a very easy fix, but it requires us again to go into the clock configuration mode. So now that we're in Dactronics, the simple fix is we need to toggle the SSRs 4 and 5 to on as shown and then hit save changes. So now once we've gone back, now you notice here the base station is in stop, the clock is stopped. We hit the clock run button on the base station and the clock is running. So you can see here that that's a very simple fix if you're using a relay box or perhaps even with an OES controller um, to fix that problem. So now let's talk briefly about how to connect your base station to the internet, which among other things will allow us to receive your game files on our servers. This is accessed by tapping the Wi-Fi icon in the upper right hand corner of the touch screen and then you see a screen will come up with a selection of the available routers. So select the router that you think is best. Of course, uh, if it's password protected, we're going to enter the password. And then when that is complete, we'll go ahead and hit connect. And at that point, you should see the status uh, connected to that specific router. If you uh, are finding a difficulty, if you've already entered the password, uh, you can simply turn the, the, uh, the Wi-Fi antenna off by toggling the uh, icon as shown. Uh, sometimes when you first turn the base station on, you may have to toggle that off and back on to reset the uh, base station, and that should allow you to connect. If you have more serious issues uh, connecting to a router that you may have used, um, you may want to go in and uh, clear that router or clear that password from the router by uh, hitting the forget network icon and then you can go ahead and reselect that router and enter the password again as needed. If you're having trouble connecting because of a firewall or some other technical information please call our office and we should be able to assist you. For any additional questions about the contents of this presentation please use the contact information shown above. We thank you again for your support of Precision Time.